Give me the gory details. You want the gory details? All right, just give me the gory details. And uh, she will call you later with all the gory details. You owe me nothing but the gory details. Don't leave out nothing. We love gory detail here. You know, I would love to sit and go over every gory detail with you, fat boy. And I want all the gory details. I want all the gory details. I want to hear all the gory details. I'm here the gory details, I guess. Another gory details. Gory detail with which you speak. The gory details. We count all the gory details. All the gory details. All the gory yeah. details. Yeah. Hear the gory details. Please uh. leave out the gory details. Gory details. Oh, that must have been a pretty gory spectacle. In gory detail. Which is going to have a gory feel to it. Last one's a little more gory. With all the gory details. No oh. gory details. Tell her all the gory details, you snake. Spare me. Spare me. Spare me, help me, ship me, crew. No, spare me. Not a lover's quarrel, pal. Spare me. Spare me from what? Of the gory details. With gory stories. It's not really scary, but gory. Here's nature and all its gory. Back in my gory days. It's too gory. It's pretty gory. Gory. The gory? Gory. 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 And give me the details. Give me the details. Details. And spare no detail. I'll spare you the gory details. I'll spare you the gory details. You want the gory details? Yeah. Thank you.
Oh, feels good to be that confident again. Oh, hey, that's me. Let's get spooky. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guys and ghouls, ghosts and goblins. If you're new here, hi. I'm your ghostess with the mostest, Sean Gory, and I'll spare you with the gory details. I'm dead excited to be here with you all this evening for our Tombstone Tuesday broadcast. We're coming to you live again for a little more Diddy Kong Racing. This is part six of our playthrough and might very well be the finale. Um, yesterday, we thought that could have been the finale. In fact, it was the finale. We completed the game in its entirety, if that makes any sense. But once you do beat the game, there are bonus levels that are unlocked. And we were able to beat all of the races and then even complete the silver coin challenges. And then we unlocked the like secondary boss fight against Whizpig Part 2. Um, we did our best to beat him, and there were a couple races where we were, like, right there. Like, we were in first place, and he just overtook the last second. Like, it was right there. Um, I looked up a couple, like, walkthroughs or guides, or tutorials, and I was doing everything right. But there were a few things I picked up on that I could implement, and we're going to try that. So, the goal is to wrap this game up here. Um, after we do beat Whizpig, the only other thing we haven't done this game is unlocking TT or the, the clock character, but that is like another 40 hour endeavor in itself. In fact, TT might be even harder than Whizpig, and I'm trying to see like the benefit of unlocking a character who's the potential one of the best racers in this game, or a game we'll, we'll probably never play again. So that seems like an exercise in futility, so we're gonna probably skip that. This was never meant to be like a 100% guide, or a 100% playthrough. We just want to play and beat this game. Oh, heck yeah, Argos, heck yeah. Um, so that's kind of what the plan is here. But before we go further, you might notice there's this giant blue donation bar and progress tracker above my head, and it's all leading up towards this event towards the end of the year called Extra Life. For those of you don't know, Extra Life happens to be this annual 24-hour charity gaming marathon. We can play games for an entire day and helps raise funds for sick and injured kids in the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. It's an absolutely free event. All you have to do is just sign up. You get your own little website that people can donate to. This doesn't have to be video games. It doesn't have to be board games, card games, tip-up games. It doesn't have to be broadcast. It doesn't have to even be 24 hours straight. Um, you can split it up. You can do 12 hours. You can do 10 hours. Like The goal is like, hey, I'm playing games and helping raise funds for kids. However you do that, that is the right way. <laughs> Um, and although this event isn't until November 2nd, we kind of like to fundraise year-round because... I mean, shoot, we've already raised over $3,000 and, like, it's not even close to November. We're, like, halfway through the year, friends. Like, th this is the way. <laughs> so that's what the plan is here. What's crazy is that one in ten kids alone in North America will be treated by the Children's Miracle Network hospitals at some point in their lifetime. And I was one of those ten kids. So, uh, yeah, if you are a gamer, or you are a gaming enthusiast, or you give a darn about sick kids, I cannot recommend enough this event. You sign up, and you can play games all day. No one can yell at you, but hey, I'm busy today. I'm doing a charity marathon. And by the way, while you're playing games all day, it's helping kids. It's what we call a win-win. Um, it... Yes and no, Argos. The, the widget is on my BRB screen. Um, I believe the developer Bread, who I just found their Twitch channel and Discord server this year, um, I believe they fixed it, and it wasn't necessarily Bread's fault. Um, Donor Drive changed their API. They even changed like their whole like notification system. Back in the day, if I donated to myself, which I do multiple times a day, um, I'd get one notification. Like, hey, you got an extra donation. But now I'm getting two. It's like, hey, you donated and you got an extra donation. I'm like, no. Like, I was the one who did it, so... There, there's some stuff going on their back end, but it's all good. And I, I guess uh, word on the street is it's less than stellar to have that same countdown widget on multiple sources on OBS, so I only have it on one, it's during my, my break, because technically that's on screen for the longest. So, uh, speaking of Extra Life, you might notice that over my shoulder here, our friend Argos Media used their phantom points to make me donate a dollar of my own hard and cash towards this cause. So that's exactly what we're gonna do here, friends. So let me slap the cans on. I'll get my head out of the way, we'll do it to extra life, and then we'll get right into the gameplay. 
yeah, yeah, um, it's, you know, only a multi-million dollar organization. I don't expect to have all their stuff figured out. Like, I'm, I don't run a multi-million dollar organization, so, I can't judge, but we can do. Let me get ahead of the way, we'll do an extra play, and we'll get rock rolling, ripping, ready to go. <laughs> I mean, just saying, I post more about Extra Life than their social media person does. So if they needed a social media person, like, I know a guy. <laughs> and they often will grab my social media posts and use them, with my permission of course, as their own. I'm just saying. Graphic designer, visual design specialist, motion animator, kind, kind of kind of invested person. I know a guy. I'm trying to think of a... Yes, yes, exactly. You get it, you get it. Um, I'm trying to think of a better person to, uh, to be employed by the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals or by Extra Life than myself. That sounds really bold when I say it out loud, so... It's out there. It's out there. <laughs> All right, friends, so we're gonna hit that big blue donate button. And this is a Phantom Port Redemption, so we're going to click that. And this is via our friend Argos Media. Argos, let me give you a drum roll here, buddy. I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing it. Just really quiet. Did you guys hear it? Fencing Bulbasaur, welcome to the stream, friend. How are you? It's been a hot minute since I last caught the stream. How's the racing? Bulbasaur, you picked a great stream because we might be wrapping this game up here. I'm gonna go ahead and mark those faint points as complete behind me here, Argos. I appreciate you, brother. No, uh... Oh, 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 wait a second. Bulbasaur snuck a hydrate in there. I appreciate you. This is for you. Cheers. Sneaky, it, it was a sneaky hydra, I didn't, I didn't see you. Get out of here. <laughs> and Argos, there's your notification, awesome. Now we've been, we've been kicking butt and it's funny, I was, I was telling my buddy this at a birthday party this weekend. So I remember playing Diddy Kong Racing for like years slash summers, plural. Um, this is our sixth little two hour session and we beat it in our last one, which would be our fifth. So like, we pretty much beat the game in like eight hours, which, could be a single sitting if it's like, a, you know, like it's summer, but that would have never happened if I was a kid. So I don't know, maybe my skills as a adult gamer, pro gamer, <laughs> um, really made a difference. Who knows? Okay, so MCG was my sister and my buddy Joey played in this account and got hurt of 47. I've never had this, I've never been this game as a kid. Me and my cousin beat it together, but it was, it was really his account. Um, I don't think there's more balloons here, but I think if we like beat, beat the game, the balloons go from like a gold, like a silver. Either way, this is the farthest we've ever been, and that's actually kind of insane to me. Brayden, welcome to the stream, buddy. I hope the sunburn's, sunburn is doing better. You have Grunts Gamer, I mean, We've done some very punishing games, like Eldest Souls, um, getting over with Bennett Foddy. Like, I've, I I have played and beaten games. Oh, I did not mean to do a challenge. I just wanted to change to a plane. I know I've, I've played and beaten some some games that, in my wildest dreams, I'm like, there's no, there's no way, there's no way. So, yeah, maybe, maybe we have grown. Look at us, look at us. Okay with you. <laughs> You know the moment when you itch your foot? I did not mean to drive in his mouth. What am I doing? Guys, I'm out of my mind. I'm out of my mind. Um, ignore me. I did not mean to drive in his mouth. I need to go to the space. Going to space. I was like, we need to fight Wizpig. There's Wizpig's face. But yeah. Um, when you itch your foot, 
so long you cut it. Ooh, God. So, like, your your skin's just peeling away? I hate to hear that, Brayden. No, what's funny is, like, whenever I get a tattoo, obviously my tattoos cover a lot of real estate. And pretty cool. What does that feel like? I'm like, it's like you you have been sunburned, and someone is dragging their nail across it. And, but, like, it's not like a one-time thing, and it's a constant thing. And it's not just, like, a single line. It's the entire surface. That's the best analogy I can give to getting a tattoo or having a tattoo. It's... You're in pain, and it's worse. Elden Ring's the same way. Elden Ring's the same way, Brayden. Well, Argos, I know you've been playing Uncharted for a while. You're gonna beat it, man. You're 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 getting there. It just takes it doesn't happen overnight, right? All right, friends. <sighs> Take sixty. Wish me luck. It's not the good start to a race. <laughs> App Mega Tango, welcome to the stream, buddy. Elden Ring was I summoned, apparently. <laughs> oof, oof, Brayden. Brayden, that sounds so painful, I'm sorry. Hey, I I do want to try getting this boost. Maybe I skip this boost. <laughs> All right, well, so uh, Argos, what if I told you there's cream? Where did I put my cream? Hold on, hold on. How do I? There's there's a there's cream you can get. So like, hold on. Pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. I need to pause this game. Th this this is worth a derail here, Argos. Okay, so there is a a cream you can get, and it is an here it is. I found it. It's backwards now, but it says TBNG. It literally stands for the best numbing cream. And there's a like a tattoo heat map. And I gotta I'm gonna Google this for you guys. Tattoo map. Um certain spart sparts. Parts of the body are spicier than others. Um I'm gonna full screen this real quick. So for example, um some people will like literally fall asleep while getting tattoos because like the vibrations numbing and like you're just like laying there not thinking about anything. People can fall asleep getting tattoos. Um, there are other spots. So the closer gen the the general rule of thumb is the closer to the extremities, and the closer to like the privates and like your head, um, the more painful it is. I have in one of my most recent sessions I got this spot. Um, I've had. I've had these spots tattooed four times now, which is really dumb because um, getting the most painful spot in your body tattooed more than once is really dumb. But no, it's so like my first tattoo ever was like this tribal wrap, which has been covered up since then. Like you can't even see it. It's, it's gone. Um, that was my first tattoo. Big mistake. It literally felt like someone took a blowtorch to my arm. Um, but then I got this sleeve and that hurt. And then I got this sleeve, and that hurt. So that was the three. And then I had this sleeve touched up. So I've had the one of the worst spots tattooed four times on purpose. And I paid someone to do this. But uh, most recently, my my artist was, I came in, I got, like, this cream. And it takes, like, an hour to set in. So, like, you know, he put it on, and, like, he's, he wrapped it in paper towel and, like, taped it up. And, like, he's prepping. He's putting out his inks out. He's putting out his, the needles. Like, and he's put his gloves on. Like, a full hour took place. Um... When he he tattooed the outer part of my arm, which is fine. Like it it hurts, but what are you gonna do? It's tattoo. And he's like, okay, we're we're gonna start the inside. I'm like, great, let's go. And he's like, are you ready? I'm like, I'm ready. And I hear the gun. I hear... And I thought he was messing with me. I'm like, are you gonna are you tattoo me? He's like, I I swear to you, brother, I'm tattooing you right now. And I looked down, and sure enough, he was. I didn't feel a thing, and thank God. And it doesn't matter because I swole, I swole up like a balloon and I couldn't like exercise it afterwards, but still, there are numbing creams, Argos. So if you really want, there are alternatives, buddy. That's, that's true too, Brayden. So Brayden was just saying, let me, hold on. 
If I pin this, does it show up above me? Nope. Let me pin it manually. Hold on. Do, 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 do. So Brain just said, um, numbing creams are is so bad because literally when it runs out, which is which it will, it hurts even more. That's actually super true. And what's funny too is like um you're not supposed to take like painkillers or anything like that before tattoo, because one, it thins your blood, and then two, will make you sick. Like your body's like just goes into shock because it's like, hey, um, I'm being stabbed right now. And like that's not even, like the ex the external stuff, but internally, like your cells are fighting like this foreign substance. Like it it is a it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Lone Wolf, welcome to the stream, buddy. Lone Wolf, how did your wings turn out, brother? Your wrists are first tattoo. Um, Britain, I've heard people say wrists were fine, but again, that's close to an extremity and. There's not a lot of meat there. That's like tendons and skin. So I can see that being very spicy. Yeah, I'm pinned. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes, 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 yes. When we got our ink in Japan, that was our first experience with second skin stuff. Was um, Apple, was second skin the numbing agent or was second skin the the derm that they put on afterwards, like just the cellophane sticker just to keep your stuff sealed and promote healing and like keep it sanitary. You get a stress ball and water? That's fair, that's fair. Argos, I'm... I don't, I don't have a, a, a needle phobia. I mean, I, I, I don't need like six gallons of blood at this point. And obviously I'm inked the F up. Um, so I can't imagine, like, psychologically what that, that would feel like for you, but I think if you got a matching tattoo with a friend, I think you, you would look on it fondly all the time. The derm, second skin derms are amazing. So, some of the tattoos I've got, it was just saran wrap and tape and gauze, and, like, you have to change it, like, every four hours, wash it, re-lotion it, and honestly, that's a pain in the butt. Like, my trash can's overflowing after day one. I need to do that for, like, four weeks. It's a lot. But, like, the second skin derm, like, promotes healing. Like, it's awesome, Apple. It's awesome. You're on a magical plant. <laughs> That's so funny. Ooh, Brayden just dropped a phantom point for a stretch. Let's knock it out. Nothing popped, but, ooh, that felt good. Did you guys hear my knuckles crack? Oh. Wow, okay. All right, Argos. That, that, that's bad. That's bad. Spicy and life-changing. Once I got done, I went ahead and squeezed half a lime. Yes, yes. Nice and told grilled them on the second rack at low for a grilled smoke feature to keep the meat undried. Per oh, that sounds amazing. That's bad for my career. All right, well, Argos. M maybe tattoos aren't for you, buddy. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, so he's not ahead of me yet. There it is. Oh, no, I missed the balloon. That's such an easy balloon. But, like, I was really hoping to shoot him because if I can slow him down just a little bit, that helps me tremendously. And these caverns are too narrow for me to use a boost. Okay, here's another trick that I didn't do last time. It's just activate a shield. That's not looking great for me. I just bounce off like three or four different things. I might be able to slow Whiz Pig down with some double homing rockets. I just got shot. I hit him. Didn't get the full green boost there. All right, let's try getting this balloon. I bounced off of way too many things. I'm sorry. It's fine, it's fine. No, no, Argos, you're not a baby. How dare you, like, want to avoid pain? What's that called when you like pain? Masochism? Is, is this sadism or masochism? 
Either way, I don't blame you, brother. No, um, as, as excited as I am to get certain, um, tattoos, it, it is a, it is daunting. You know, like, hey, I'm gonna be in a chair being sad for eight hours. And the, the skin is the largest organ on your body. That meter just fudged me up. Um, your skin's the largest, largest art organ. Where, mouth words are hard. It's the largest organ on your body. So like, you are exposed to infection. Um, it can, it can be hard to keep clean. Um, I get it, brother. I get it. And it's funny because, like, of course, anytime like I'm I'm in pain and suffering, it's like, well, I brought this on myself. No one forced me to get a tattoo. <laughs> I can't click that. Is Masochist the right one? Masochism. Okay, okay, yes, Masochism. Okay, so I got I didn't get the full blue boost, but it's fine. We're still in the lead. Miss that balloon. Got this one. I literally came to a dead stop. Dear Lord. <laughs> What's funny, so, bringing, like, getting over with Bennett Foddy is easily one of the, like, most rage-inducing games of all time. I just put on, like, chill music and, like, hang out with you guys, and it wasn't that bad. So I wouldn't consider myself a masochist, but maybe I just... I'm just more chill? I don't, I don't know. More patient? Who knows? Yeah, so he's in the lead, which is less than stellar, but it's still we still got a race here, friends. Cool, got two lives in a row. Okay, I'm gonna go for the shield. Didn't get shot in here. Always a plus. Stop barrel rolling, you son of a gun. Okay, so confirmed, um, I'm tapping the, the right trigger, because that's what gets you, like, the hard bends, as opposed to just, like, really soft bends. And just double tapping it makes you flip. And, of course, there are times where I'm like, oh, I need to turn, I need to turn again, so that's why I've been doing it. I need to either slow down or just, like, hold the right trigger the whole time. Am I sadist because I like fighting? That's a tough question, buddy. Bulbasaur says... Hold on, I gotta, I gotta read back a little bit here. My stepbrother broke his headset like a week ago from raging. Ooh, that's poor temper. I've never broken controller, I've never broken a keyboard, I've never punched a monitor, that's poor temper. Yep. Fancy Bobrister says, Shot, shots and needles are scary. My mom, who is a nurse, says, that's normal will be scared. Of course, you're literally being stabbed. Like, by definition. Um, and I'll be honest, so like, the camera won't be able to capture it, but if I bend my arm just right and turn up the light, there are holes, there are scars, like there are divots in both my arms that you can even see through my tattoos. Because when I wasn't donating blood every month, I was also donating like plasma and platelets. Like uh, platelets go, it's, it's a thing where you can hook to a machine and a centrifuge spins it and separates the white blood cells and the red blood cells. And that goes directly to helping like leukemia patients. And I did that for years. It still hurts, because one, it's going through star scar tissue, so like, ooh, that hurts. But two, like, you're still being stabbed, right? And then with that process, it takes two hours for them to like, spin it, pump it back into you, take some more, spin it, pump it back into you, and it's always cold. I don't know how they haven't invented a heater for it, but it's always cold. They got you with blankets, like they make you chew Tums. Miserable. Anyway, um, it still hurts to donate blood. So like, like oh, you can look away if you want to. I look away. Because, like, being stabbed with little tiny tattoo needles, it looks like the, it looks like the clicker of a pen. 
but being stabbed with a blood donation needle, it's like someone has a meat probe and they just, it's a lot. It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. You broke an Nintendo 64 controller playing Mario Party and Excite Bike. Did you break it because you threw it or did you break it because you were doing the, the hand palm tug of war rope thing in Mario Party? Are you kidding, Brayden? Mario Party and Mario Kart have ended more relationships than anything on the planet. I missed my boost, I gotta start again. No, Mario Party is such a rage inducer. Like, that's BS! You took my star? Oh, yeah. No, you can, you can totally screw your friends over in that game. It is... That is a great way to make enemies. <laughs> Uno, Mr. Sean. Uno, yes. No, you. <laughs> Who would ever do that? <laughs> do you know what Brain Uno is a great example of a, a friendship destroyer? Yes. Alright, not a blue boost, but a boost nonetheless. No, I've, I've got a Mario uh, Party playthrough on my YouTube channel, and my girlfriend literally threatened. Not threatened, but was telling me to sleep on the couch. Because, like, she was so pissed off. And I, it's not like I was, like, intentionally, like, oh, do you know what? Like, I'll, I'll choose to steal stars from you. It was like, hey, you have that random chance to steal star from somebody. And, of course, it landed on her. <laughs> and she felt a certain way about it, which I understand. But it wasn't like I was like, hmm... I can steal one from my buddy, I can steal one from my buddy's girlfriend, or I can steal one from my own girlfriend. No, it was... it was at random. But... they took it personally. Fudge! I'm gonna start again. <laughs> for real, for real. So, it, so, Lone Wolf, you're saying it was the, uh... Oh, hold on, we got a posture check. So, Lone Wolf, you're, you're saying it was... It was the trauma that you were putting on it. It had nothing to do with your temper. That's good. That's good. I, I like to hear that. That's poor design. That's not poor poor behavior. Okay. But a posture check from Brayden. I know which this stretch, but make it sure. Let's back in the seat. Spine's nice and aligned. Brayden, thank you. Appreciate that. I'll let this be a reminder for you guys, too. Make sure you're sitting upright. Hey, Gory, those walls, you're not supposed to hit those. You don't say. Appreciate you for providing this brand new information to me. I'll be sure to keep in mind. That being said, I can't guarantee I'm, it's not going to happen again. <laughs> uh. So good news is, at least in the throne room, I've managed to avoid being shot. Alright, well, I only had one missile. I took my shot. I missed. It's fine. We are in first right now. And he's about to get zapped. I heard it. He got zappy, dude. Looking for that shield for the throne room. Got a little boost, nothing crazy. I was hoping for a green. My heart is starting to race, you guys. The fact that we made through one whole lap in the lead is pretty great. We're pulling our lead farther from him. I just heard him get zapped again. Looking for that shield. We 
We could have gotten that boost. Um, I'm not trying to do anything stupid. Fudge. We got a chance to really draw the distance. He's on my butt. We got a really cha good chance to draw the distance here. We're a little bit ahead of him. My heart is pounding right now. I can feel it. He got zapped again. It sounded like he got zapped really far back, too. I don't know if you guys can see the minimap behind me, but it... Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Let's freaking go. Although we can't still bring up that game, I can't live down. Oh no, it was Ransom. <laughs> I do concerts month to month. I can't wait. That's awesome, Brain. I'm going to a concert next next month. I think I told you about that. Because this is insane. I've never beaten this game as a kid, period. The fact that I beat it last night, and then just like 100% it more or less. I can't believe this, that this is insane. Let's go. Oh, they completely replaced Whizpig with our friend. I know what you mean. I'm gonna go see see a uh, thirty seconds to Mars there, Argos. Oh, that was one of the bad guys that we had to race against. You're not from a third seconds to Mars? I bet you are. That's another one of the bad guys we fought. And it's not even like a fight, they just challenge us to a race. That's that's wholesome. And his name's Smokey. There's the walrus guy. Oh my gosh, it's a full reunion. You got pit seats? Oh, that's gonna be crazy, Brain. That's gonna be crazy. I love that his statue's gold, he's got silver tusks too, that's so awesome. I thought Whizpig just like shot off into like space. What's he doing here? Maybe they're hinting at a Diddy Kong Racing 2. Well, Argos, you should fi fix that because First to Eleven does 30 Saints to Mars covers. I look where heads at Argos. Negative. I gotta announce it first. I gotta build the hype. You gotta know. Because if someone's not a fan of this game, they don't have to tune into this stream. But they're a fan of the next game, like, oh my god, I have to tune in. Aw, oh, Bray, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Fine.
I feel like the music in this and Banjo Kazooie were just like top notch. The music in um, Star Fox 64 was super epic, but not very danceable. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I cannot believe we beat this game, you guys. To be continued? Diddy Kong Racing 2? When? Diddy Kong... All balloons are blue rock... Oh, they're giving us the cheat codes right now. Oh, they're showing our best times. Yes, yeah, so you can enter cheat codes, which don't affect the campaign, but they affect, like, just multiplayer, like, couch co-op. Um, so you can, like, make it, there's no balloons, you can make it where everyone starts with 10 bananas, you can make big characters, you can have all-wheel drive, um, there's lots of fun codes. Pretty crazy I was able to complete these races in under two minutes. I guess it's not a surprise that this, we beat this game in, like, an eight-hour sitting, more or less. And, like, if you take away, like, my countdown, and, like, my intro, and, like, our commercial breaks, or just me chatting with you guys, or just restarting stuff because we failed. I can see why this game is very speed runnable. Like you could you could beat this game in two hours easy. Yeah, each race is two minutes and there can't be more than 40 maps. There's four zones. There's four levels each. So if you don't count the silver coin challenges, yeah, you could beat this in a sitting easy. Want to do a little boogie? Yes. Yes. So do we get the silver balloons now? So I want, I've seen silver balloons. I don't know if that was like a ROM or what. Diddy Kong it's, it's the last stream for Diddy Kong. Let, let's play Diddy. I'm Diddy. <laughs> what is Adventure 2? I don't know what Adventure 2 is. Hold on. Is that Conquer from the hit game Conquer's Bad Fur Day? It is. It is actually. I can't play Adventure 2 even though I have every trophy, amulet, and beat Wispick 2 because it's house. You have all 52 balloons and all 5 tro trophies, beat Wispick 2, then Adventure 2 will be unlocked. We have Adventure 2. There's not 52 balloons, there's 47. We've done every race, we found the secret ones. Oh, it's, just, it's made by the same company there, Braden. It's made by Rare. Okay, so this person is selecting their player. Very slowly. Okay. Okay. Adventure 2. What is Adventure 2? So you have to start a brand new game to do Adventure 2. Oh, so Adventure 2 is how you get the silver balloons. Is it maybe just that the racers are a little bit harder? One is the doll game and one's made for children. I see, I see. Oh, the the maps are inverted. This is backwards. Um, Mario 64, Mario Kart 64 did the exact same thing where, yeah, you can see the, the, the start word, hold on. The start banner is backwards. S T A R T. So it's the exact same maps. It's just you're running them backwards. I did not know that, Braden. I didn't know that. Okay. So yeah, Mario Kart 64 did the exact same thing where once you completed 50cc, 100cc, and 150cc, there was a mode called Extra. And it was the exact same races. It was just backwards, which is actually a lot of fun on like one map. 
Um, there was one map called Toad's Turnpike, where all the cars are course going like clockwise or whatever, and you're it's like you're on a highway, and there's like buses and cars and trucks and stuff. So you're zipping through traffic, and you're obviously going way faster than them. Um, but it was a little more exciting when you're going the other way because the cars didn't turn around. You're like driving incoming traffic. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Well, today I learned. Um, we're not going to do that because it will just be what we just did, but mirrored, which is whamp whamp, not as exciting. So, but at least now we know what Adventure 2 is. Uh, Alright, well, friends, we came here to beat Diddy Kong Racing. And that's exactly what we did. So, I appreciate you guys all being here and coming with me on this journey. I hope this scratch your nostalgia bones as much as it did for me. I, I am very proud of myself for being this. I never did it as a kid, so this is a lot. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna conclude the stream. We're gonna wrap things up and we're gonna raid another streamer and turn our party into their party. Don't go anywhere, friends. We're about to make someone's day. Stick around. We'll be right back. The lesson I want you to learn is it doesn't matter what you look like. You can be tall or short, or fat or thin, or ugly, or handsome, like your father. <laughs> or you can be black or yellow or white, it doesn't matter. But what does matter is the size of your heart and the strength of your character. All right, so I checked some extra life friends. Give me a second. I'm I'm doing some more homework. I know, Lone Wolf. Don't cry. We could be brief, be brilliant, be gone. That's always a good plan. If I had a dollar for every stream that went over two hours, I'd have a lot of dollars. Um, I don't recognize this channel. We're gonna show them some love. We're gonna introduce ourselves. Yep, these are new friends. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop a raid over on our friends Adventure Check. Let me start the raid. Adventure Check is currently just doing some just chatting. It looks like they're they're doing like a a dual webcam thing here, maybe like a dual streamer thing here. And uh, they look very D and D oriented, which is always a good thing. We do love D and D here, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the raid. Parasite, welcome to the stream. Called it. Sorry, over. No, but uh, besides being awesome streamers, they also have to be awesome extra lifers, which is why we're gonna go and bring them some love. Once we get over the channel, fee feel free to say anything along the lines of raid or brains or hype. Oh my gosh, Bulbasaur, thank you much for being here. Uh, I just made sure that Pumpkin Jack put some info in the chat for us to copy and paste over into Adventure Check's stream once we get there. We're gonna hang out there for a while, friends, so if you guys wanna hang out, please do. That is going to be it here, here for me this evening for our Tombstone Tuesday broadcast. We'll be back tomorrow playing some more Helldivers. And then we're off Thursday for 4th of July. But next week, because we just wrapped up Diddy Kong Racing, we got a brand new game coming for you guys. So stay tuned to the socials and see what that is. And uh, maybe you'll guess it before it's revealed. Who knows? But uh, as always, friends, there's never been anyone like you. There is no one like you. You'll never be anyone like you. Love yourselves. Love each other. I love you. Stay spooky. Have yourselves a good evening. If excuse me, I can get back to my coffin. We'll see you all later. Have a good night.